perpetual energy. Words spoken in the cool whispers of night between two lovers wrapped in bliss. Words spoken in soft, hushed tones to soothe frightened children, crying babies, angry husbands. Words spoken like a whip, a blowhorn, scorching fire, calling out, screaming out, stirring us, arousing us to emotion, commotion, revolution. Words spoken to the minority by the majority. Words spoken to beat down, to oppress and depress, to make me, to make you, to make us feel helpless, hopeless, lifeless, thereby infecting our bodies, our minds, our souls, to make us powerless, motionless, reactionless, defective. Words spoken by a mother to a daughter, by a father to a son, attempts to build up their child's young life, but because of mom, dad's own brokenness, their own betrayal, their own hurt and pain and disappointment produce adult children with shattered, fractured life, without faith in self, overwhelmed by inner voices of condemnation, condemnation, not good enough, not worthy enough, never, never enough. Condemnation. Words spoken to twisted truth into bitter lies, lies into tragic truth, right into wrong and wrong into right, to trick, deceive, all spoken with smiles and grins on faces over waves transmitted by cell phone, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, heard by me, heard by you, heard by us. Yes, us. But his word speaks to my past, my present, my future, changing, reshaping, transforming, penetrating, every crevice of my heart, my mind, my being. But his word, I came that you might have life, created me, created you, breathing life unto us all. But his word, because of his great love for me, Christ died, speaks healing, Deliverance breaks every chain, betrayal and brokenness, breaks every chain, hurt and pain, brings liberty, freedom, freedom, freedom. But his word cleans, saves, blesses, anoints, when? Always. My words, thank, exalt, magnify him. My words, praise, worship, glorify him. When? Always. For how long? Forever. <laughs>